Hi, it's Jen from Jen's Primitive Gems. Today I'm doing a voiceover to show you some of the hutches that I've done. The first piece I'm going to show you is one of my favorites. I did some decoupage in the back at the top and I used a really fun color called Flirt Alert, which is just a latex paint, which I used more so when I was first starting out. Next, I'm going to show you um, before and after pictures of an old washstand that I did. It turned out gorgeous. Here is a before and after picture of a sideboard that I did that I saved from the dump. The guy was just heading to the dump, so I saved it and sold it for I think $3.50. With this next piece, I just wanted to show you how I kept some of the original wood, but also painted it. And there's heavy distressing on this one. Um, some people like that heavily distressed look. Some people don't. This piece, I left some of the pine showing through at the top and painted it um, midnight blue by Fusion. Often when the wood is in good shape, I like to leave some of it showing just because I like the wood look. I understand not everybody does and that's okay. Here is a sideboard that I did. Um, I did the hardware silver and I painted it a dark, I believe it's ash with a bit of turquoise showing through underneath. And this piece um, is just, I think there's a bit of burgundy showing under. I can't quite remember. This one was a long time ago, but I did put new hardware on it. This one was, again, one that I did a long time ago, um, white on the inside and was lucky enough to get, it had um, glass shelves and a light inside. And the customer actually sent me a picture of it once it was in her apartment and it looked great. This piece I did for my friend Pam. She had asked me to find a corner cabinet for her, so I did and painted it white with distressing just mainly on the edges and put new hardware on it and she was quite happy with it. This is another piece I found on the side of the road for free. I sold it for $2.50. And this was a piece I did for a customer. Um, this one I got from a church for free, sold it for $3.50. This sideboard I did for a customer because she saw my other cabinet painted in this color. This is called Flirt Alert. And she asked if I could do her mother's old sideboard in that color. So here it is. This piece I bought and took the doors off of the top of it and I absolutely loved the backing that the people put on this. I didn't have to do anything with it. It was already that color but I painted the outside to match and my cousin bought it. This one I just wanted to show you the pop of color in the top. Um, sometimes a pop of color inside really sells the piece. And here's that pop of color again. I put some bright turquoise inside. Um, when I bought this one, one of the doors was missing on it. So I took off the other door to match it and I sold it like this with the ends open. This was one of my favorite hutches of all time. It was in my store when I had my store and there it's showing my display of candles. Next piece was also in my store and it's just showing um, sort of a med medium gray with white inside. Here is a hutch that sort of uh, has a little tint of beige in it. This one is burgundy and has beige on the inside at the top. Here's a smaller um, sideboard, like I mean in length. And here's just uh, another buffet that I did, black with silver handles. 
and yet another buffet and another I put new hardware on that one my next two are before and afters of wardrobes that I did I just added them to my Hutch's video just because I have way more dressers to put in the dresser video so there's the before and here is the after a lady I know actually gave me a whole bedroom bedroom set that had belonged to her mother um, her mother passed away and she was so kind to give me all this furniture here is another wardrobe there's the before and next is the after. This is when I did um, stuff to look very distressed. And here is an antique stereo cabinet. Uh, again, found it on the side of the road. And the next few are just white corner cabinets. Um, this one I did for my neighbor. And... Here's another, and here is another buffet and hutch where I kept the wood, some of the wood showing on it. Here is another sideboard with the heavily distressed look and a buffet and hutch. Here is one that had broken glass at the top, so I put chicken wire in and I think I bought it for 60 and I sold it for 250. This was one of the very first hutches that I ever did. Left a bit of wood showing at the top, heavily distressed. I really liked that look. Original hardware that I spray painted black. This hutch, I really hated the little knobby things hanging down there on the top of that. So I cut those off and the wood was in excellent condition. So I left some of it showing at the top and bottom and the back of the top piece. Here's a lovely turquoise piece, one of my first pieces again um, and it had a light at the top I had a lot of people that wanted that one I remember and here is a one piece hutch in a very very light blue and this was one of the biggest pieces I've done for big doors at the bottom and I put glass knobs on it and this one sold for 300 I believe. And to end my video today, I just wanted to show you a picture of my mom's kitchen cupboards and backsplash that I did for her before she passed away. This was the last time that I saw her before she went into the hospital. And it's just very meaningful to me. There she is standing in the far right corner of the picture admiring her new cabinets. She was so happy and showing them off to her friends and so glad I could do that for her. If you liked my video today, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video where I show you my dressers.